Uh, greetings, Facebook, Internet, YouTubes, all of that. A week ago, I put on some videos, um, basically just reenacting certain scenes and moments from films that I enjoy. And as I'm recording this now, we are now 24 hours away from the premiere of Star Wars The Force Awakens. And to commemorate such a momentous occasion and to show my love and affection for all the Star Wars films, here is Jordan and Robert's take on the Star Wars saga. deep space pilots talk about them. They live on the moons of Aigo, I think. They're the most beautiful creatures in the universe. You're a funny little boy. How do you know so much? I listen to all the traders and pilots who come through here. I'm a pilot, you know, and someday I'm gonna fly away from this place. Go back? Qui-Gon told me to stay in this cockpit, and that's what I'm gonna do. You'll have to be, like, right yeah. here, though. <laughs> Alright, there. You were stop thinking? You were stop people gonna die? Will you defer your motion to allow a commission to explore the validity of your accusation? And you, young Skywalker. We shall watch your career with great interest. Why do I get the feeling you're going to be the death of me? Don't say that, Master. You're the closest thing I have to a father. You want to buy some death sticks? You don't want to sell me death sticks. I don't want to sell you death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. Faggot. You're gonna pay for all the Jedi that you killed today, Dooku. Alright, we can take him together. You're gonna to slowly- No, I'm taking him now! No, no, no. no. Bad Anakin. No. <laughs> Annie? My goodness, you've grown. So have you. More beautiful, I mean. Annie? <laughs> You'll always be that dear for you, Tatooine. I'm not so little. From the moment I met you, all those years ago, not a day has gone by when I haven't thought of you. And now that I'm with you again, I, I'm in agony. The closer I get to you, the worse it gets. The thought of not being with you, I, I can't breathe. I'm haunted by the kiss that you never should have given me. My heart is beating, hoping that the kiss will not become a scar. You're in my very soul. Tormenting me. What can I do? I will do anything you ask. If you are suffering as much as I am, please tell me. What have I done? You are fulfilling your destiny, Anakin. Become my apprentice. Learn to use the power of the dark side of the Force. I will do whatever you ask. Just help me save Padme's life. I can't live without her. To cheat death is a power only one has achieved. But if we work together, I know we can discover that secret. I pledge myself to your teachings. Good, good. The Force is strong with you. A powerful Sith you will become. Henceforth. You should be known as Darth Vader. Thank you, my master. Rise. I'm hungry. You have allowed the Dark Lord to twist your mind. Until now, until now, 
You've become the very thing that you swore to destroy. Don't lecture me, Obi-Wan. I see through the lies of the Jedi. I do not fear the dark side as you do. I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. Your new empire? Don't make me kill you. Anakin, my allegiance is to the Republic, to democracy. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. You will try. Pew! No, my father didn't fight in the Clone Wars. He was a navigator on a spice freighter. That's what your uncle told you. He didn't hold with your father's ideals. He felt he should have stayed here and not gotten involved. You fought in the Clone Wars? <laughs> yes, I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. I wish I had known him. He was the best star pilot in the galaxy and a cunning warrior. I understand that you've become quite a good pilot yourself. <laughs> He was a good friend. I have something here for you. Your father wanted you to have this when you were old enough, but your uncle wouldn't allow it. He feared you might follow old Obi-Wan on some damn fool idealistic crusade like your father did. What is it? Your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice in the Old Republic. Before the dark times. Before the Empire. How did my father die? A young Jedi named Darth Vader, who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil, helped hunt down the Empire helped the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights. He betrayed and murdered your father. Now the Jedi are all but extinct. Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force. The Force? The Force is what gives a Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. You must learn the ways of the Force if you're going to come with me to Alderaan. Alderaan? No, I'm not going to Alderaan. I've got to get home. It's late. I'm in for it as it is. I need your help, Luke. She needs your help. And I'm getting too old for this sort of thing. Look, I can't get involved. I've got work to do. It's not that I like the Empire. I hate it, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. It's such a long way from here. That's your uncle talking. Oh, my uncle... How am I going to explain this? Learn about the Force, Luke. I can take you as far as Anchorhead. You can get transport there from Moss Eisley or wherever you're going. You must do what you feel is right, of course. Han Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Chewie here tells me you're looking for safe passage to the Alderaan system. Yes, indeed. If it's a fast ship. A fast ship? You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? It's the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. I've outrun Imperial starships. Not the local bulk cruisers, I'm talking about the big Karelian ships now. She's fast enough for you, old man. What's the cargo? Only passengers. Myself, the boy, two droids, and no questions asked. What is it? Some kind of local trouble? Let's just say we'd like to avoid any Imperial interlopers. You don't believe in the Force, do you? Kid, I've flown from one side of this galaxy to another. I've seen a lot of strange stuff, but I've never seen anything to make me believe that there's one all-powerful Force controlling everything. There's no mystical energy field that controls my destiny, kid. It's all a bunch of simple tricks and nonsense. What of the Rebellion? If the Rebels have obtained a complete technical reading of this station, it is possible, however unlikely, 
that they might find a weakness and exploit it. The plans you refer to will soon be back in our hands. Any attack made by the rebels against this station would be a useless gesture, no matter what technical data they have obtained. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. I suggest we use it. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen tapes, or given you clairvoyance enough to find the rebels hidden for- oh. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Why wish you become Jedi? Mostly because of my father, I guess. Yeah, father. Powerful Jedi was he. Powerful Jedi. Oh, come on. How could you know my father? You don't even know who I am. I don't even know what I'm doing here. We're wasting our time. I cannot teach him. The boy has no patience. Much anger in him, like his father. He is not ready. Yoda. I am ready. I can uh, I can be a Jedi. Ben, tell him I'm ready. Ready, are you? What know you of ready? For 800 years I have trained Jedi. My own counsel will I keep on who is to be trained. A Jedi must have the deepest commitment, the most serious mind. This one a long time have I watched. All his life has he looked away to the future, to the horizon, never his mind on where he was. Hmm? What he was doing. <laughs> Adventure? Excitement? <laughs> a Jedi craves not these things. You are reckless. He is too old. Too old. To be trained. But I've learned so much. Will he finish what he begins? I won't fail you. I'm not afraid. You will be. You will be. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. Luke, you do not yet realize your importance. You have only begun to discover your power. Join me, and I will complete your training. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. I'll never join you! If you only knew the power of the dark side. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No, Luke. I am your father. No. No, that's not, that's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No. No! Luke, you can destroy the Emperor. He has foreseen this. It is your destiny. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. I can't do it, R2. I can't go on alone. Yoda and I will always be with you. Obi-Wan. Why didn't you tell me? You told me Vader betrayed and murdered my father. Your father was seduced by the dark side of the Force. He ceased to be the man, the Jedi, known as Anakin Skywalker, and became Darth Vader. When that happened, the good man who was your father was destroyed. So what I told you was true. From a certain point of view. A certain point of view? Luke, you're going to find that many of the truths we cling to depend greatly on our point of view. Anakin was a good friend. When I first met him, your father was already a great pilot. But I was amazed how strongly the Force was with him. I took it upon myself to train him as a Jedi. I thought that I could instruct him just as well as Yoda. I was wrong. There is still good in him. He's more machine now than man, twisted and evil. I can't do it, Ben. You cannot escape your destiny. You must face Darth Vader again. I can't kill my own father. Then the Emperor has already won. You were our only hope. 
Yoda spoke of another. The other he spoke of is your twin sister. But I have no sister. To protect you both from the Emperor, you were hidden from your father when you were born. The Emperor knew, as I did, if Anakin were to have any offspring, they would be a threat to him. That is the reason why your sister remains safely anonymous. Leia. Leia is my sister. Your insight serves you well. Bury your feelings deep down, Luke. They do you credit. But they could be made to serve the Emperor. You cannot hide forever, Luke. I will not fight you. Give yourself to the dark side. It is the only way you can save your friends. Yes. Your thoughts betray you. Your feelings for them are strong. Especially for... Sister. So... You have a twin sister. Your feelings have now betrayed her too. Obi-Wan was wise to hide her from me. Now his failure is complete. If you will not turn to the dark side, then perhaps she will. Good. Your hate has made you powerful. Now, fulfill your destiny. Take your father's place at my side. Never! I'll never turn to the dark side. You have failed, your highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it, Jedi.